It's player career mode time. It's potentially top of the Bundesliga time if we can A, beat Freiburg because Bayern have won again. And then if we can beat Bayern because they are our next opponents at the moment. We're going to have to put together an unbeaten season if we're to stand a chance of winning the Bundesliga this year because Bayern Munich are seemingly as unstoppable here as Manchester City have been in the Leeds career mode that we're doing over on the main channel. But fingers crossed... We can get the results today. Freiburg are our next opponents. They're 14th in the division. Then it's Bayern. And then we're actually, we're into the January transfer window where, fingers crossed, fingers crossed, we'll be able to get ourselves some new players. If not, then three points against Schalke at the very least would be lovely. And then hopefully we'll be able to power on into the second half of the season and have a very strong Bundesliga year. We're through to the knockout stages of the Champions League as per the last episode as well. I'll show you the spreadsheet quickly. We are back in great goal scoring form. Back to back 10 out of 10s at the moment. I'd love to do that again. Today we're saying thank you to Josh to Ritik and to Nij for your continued support on stream and in the YouTube comment section. Thank you very much indeed. I'm going to go and play Freiburg. Then we'll play Bayern Munich and hopefully sign some new players as well and remain unbeaten and go top of the Bundesliga. Come on then. Up the black and yellow. 25% dribble success. Four passes in the opponent's half. Let's see if we can get a hat-trick of 10 out of 10s, shall we? And maybe on this occasion, actually get the hat-trick too. I should have had one against Ajax in the previous episode. Unfortunately, I bottled it in the last minute at the Allianz, at the uh, Johan Krauf Arena. So, fingers crossed, this time around, I'll actually be able to do it. Oh, and I was going to say, I might need to score a hat-trick if Freiburg are going to be that good in front of goal. Turns out they're not that good in front of goal. He should have scored that one. Corner for Freiburg then, as a result of that effort that came back off the post and then the clearance. And Kubel has to make the save again. Freiburg mean business. If we lose this, we cannot overtake Bayern, even if we beat them in the next step in the next game. So Willow Ritchie here at Freiburg, that's a signing and a half. Bino Gittens, the former Dortmund man, of course, playing for them too. And Freiburg have done more in the opening nine minutes against us here than any of yesterday's opponents did in the full 90. I'm actually a little bit nervous now against Freiburg here. Are we going to get as straightforward a victory as we hoped that we would? Or is this going to be a real challenge? Might we lose our unbeaten run this season in this game? Wait and see. We have scored back-to-back -back headers of late. But I'm not going to have the opportunity here because that one's not come anywhere near me. Kraft will bring that down and kick it straight against Sanko. And Freiburg are good defensively as well as offensively, it seems. Hugo into Sanko. Sanko round the corner. Hello, defence. Where are you? Where have you gone? Sanko back to Hugo. Victor Gomez. Sanko. Freiburg still looking dangerous. Monsalve, Martins, turns, and Kubel saves. No, Freiburg goal, but this is tough here. We're not creating at the other end. We are conceding opportunities at the other, but not yet goals. Vino Gittens and Sanko. I mean, an acre of space here if we win it back. I'm sure their defence will close up quickly if we do. We have done. They do look to close up quickly. They can't get the ball quickly enough to me. Leverkusen 3-0 up in their game so far to today. They're chasing ourselves in Bayern Munich as well. And I genuinely thought that was destined for the top corner. Gregor Kubel seems rather confident it was going wide. And to be fair, in the end, it did go quite away past the post. But from that this camera angle, it wasn't quite so obvious in the moment. I got a little bit worried there. We said we've had back-to-back -back 10 out of 10s. I'm barely getting more than half a 10 out of 10 at the moment. Not a great game for me so far here in the Bundesliga. Not a great game for us either. And if we can't keep up the winning run, then even if we do beat Bayern in the next game, we might not still go top of the, Premier, the, top of the Bundesliga. We need a win here to guarantee it because Bayern aren't dropping any points at the moment. But we look like we might. I know I've been bad. I know I need to be better. And that turn might just be me doing the getting better bit to help us. 
Oh, get the goal to go in front, but it's a good block by the defender. And a corner to come in the 61st minute. Can Borussia Dortmund finally make the breakthrough? No. Maybe. No. And Harwood Bellis again. We've got an ultra attacking here. No surprises from the manager. There's a league title on the line. We need to make sure that we keep picking up as many points as possible. I am at risk of being subbed out here. And understandably so, given my lack of quality thus far in this game. Scored five goals in my last three. I can't even get a look in today against Freiburg. They are unbelievable defensively. Victor back to Sanko. Shot blocked and out for a throw. I'm not off yet. Out for a goal kick. Thank the Lord for that. 20 minutes to go. Bove off. James on both James and Pavic now onto the field of play. So we've got three 90 plus rated players on the pitch. And then myself at 89, but at the minute I'm playing more like 9.8 than I am 89. Are now nicely to Dylan. I'm arriving as quickly as I can. Oh, and that's a hell of a challenge as I was about to play the pass. Brilliant interception. James quickly, nicely to Rowe. Out of my feet. A quick one too. Samueli Ritchie just outmuscles me there. My guy sometimes, despite having like 93 or 94 strength, or something stupidly, absurdly high like that, really doesn't show it from time to time and gets quite easily outmuscled. And I am being taken off here in the 82nd minute. Diogo Jota, over to you, sir. We've been winning every Bundesliga game we possibly can recently. But the one time we need a win prior to going to play by Munich to ensure that we can stay above them. Oh, ref! What are you blowing your full-time whistle for there? If you could have just played that into Pavic, surely we would have won it. Oh, my God. I don't perform, and the team don't either. It's a nil-nil draw. It's the first time we haven't won in the Bundesliga since we played Hoffenheim right at the very beginning of the season. Right. Hopefully, me accidentally putting a nil in there against Bayern Munich isn't a bad omen. I'm still going to be in the starting lineup, thankfully, despite not getting any objectives for that one. But 5 1 Leverkusen win in the end. Wow. Still going to be in the starting lineup for the game against Bayern Munich, but I'm going to have to be better. And because of that draw, we are three points behind Bayern. Thankfully, we're still within touching distance. So, still, it remains the case. If we beat Bayern, we'll go above them. But now, Leverkusen are back in the mix and above us. So even if we do beat Bayern, we might, well, still not be top. What a time to drop points, eh? To Sanderson Park we go for the Allianz Arena. Such a shame it's not in the game all told, but such is licensing. Good to see Pavic, though, starting on the right-hand side ahead of Kraft. That's certainly going to give us a better chance of winning. Three shots on target and avoid the avoid the loss is going to be most important to us here. Bayern's starting lineup looks as follows. I know you'd be curious. I am too. Diogo Costa in goal, 88. Malagusto, 85. Antonio Silva, 88. Bonjman Pava is still here at 84. Iago Vieira, a regen left back, 84. 86 rated Ruben Neves and an 84 rated Ibrahim Sangare are holding. Antony at 87 on the right. Jaden Sancho at 86 on the left. Muziala at 93 at Cam. And Lautaro Martinez at 88 through the middle. Harry Kane is still here, but he's 77 now. Lukas Sucic can make an impact off the bench at 84. Domingo Quiroga could make an impact at 83. And 85 rated Kulusevski equally so. And Di Gregorio, I think, is a goalkeeper. Michele Di Gregorio. So Bayern are good. So are we. Even better with Pavic starting, but are we going to be good enough? Based on that Freiburg performance, absolutely bloody not. Made a run. He will find me here. Oh, trying to catch Diogo out with a range. Shot, early doors, early taken. Shot, well stopped by the keeper. I can't win that header. Anthony beats me in the air. Muziala nods clear, but only as far as Bove. Castello Junior to Dylan Rowe. It's an excellent challenge and no free kick given. And Ruben Neves will bring it away for Bayern Munich. Leverkusen are winning on their match day as well. If we draw this, Leverkusen go top. And both Bayern and Dortmund fall away from top spot in the league. 
Bayer Leverkusen have brought themselves right into the title picture now, haven't they? We thought it was a four-horse race with Frankfurt. It still may well be. But at the minute, there are certainly three horses that are very close to one another. Bove isn't going to work the ball into a position where he can pass it or shoot it. And after 15 minutes, despite it being all Borussia Dortmund pressure thus far, there is no goal to bring to you yet. Is Malagusto down the line. That's a good cross. It's a good enough clearance. At least I thought so! Lautaro Martinez's header somehow hits the bar and comes down just the right side of the line as far as we were concerned. That was scary. Bayern Munich a foot or so away from going 1-0 up here. Roth! Diogo Costa holds on well. We very nearly scored on the counter-attack. Deary me. Okay, this episode has seen offensive teams completely show something entirely different to the rest of the season so far. I'll call for the ball here. I won't get it. Ruben Neves intercepts. Maybe I should have called for it through the air. Kind of hoped that the teammate would have the quality to find me nonetheless. Is Pavic now. Back to Fontana. Drifting to the left-hand side. Bove, Fontana again. I'll call for it through here. I will get it. Got support here. Cowell can't find the through ball. We're getting close. But Bayern Munich have come the closest of anyone yet to scoring the opening goal of this game with that one off the bar. Pavic and Cowell. And Pavic again. And Pavic. And Bove! And goal! Bove gives Borussia Dortmund the lead at the Allianz Arena. Brilliant strike. Fell to him kindly, as it did yesterday, to thump home with a clean effort. I'm involved on the edge of the box. I think I actually got tackled there rather than actually be able to get my pass off. Nothing fortuitous about the finish, though. Top quality from Bove. Top quality from Dortmund. Top of the table, maybe. Fontana, that's a great ball. And I've got support here. I might not need it, though. I'm going to try and play it. Oh. Oh, giving away. Bove. Row to me. Ah, God. I can't do anything today. I'm recording this in the same session that I recorded the last episode. Yesterday, I couldn't stop scoring. Now I can't even shoot. Is Vieira here now. Iago Vieira down the wing. Tackled well by Al now Martinez. Frankfurt go 1-0 up through Amin Guiri in their game. So they keep their march towards the top going, or at least to stay in touch. Pavic into me here. Get away from the defender. I was shooting with that next step. I just didn't get the chance to take it. Row, Bove, to me, and goal! Tour for Bayfal Bay! Dortmund, two. Bayern, nil. Top. Maybe. Leverkusen is still winning, I think. But above Bayern, at least. Get in. I can shoot and score today. Sancho and Antonio Silva. 20 to go. It is still 2-0, despite the fact that half the scoreboard is missing. Most important part is still there, though, for our consideration at the moment. Bayern, nil. Thankfully, the, there is a two next to Dortmund, but there might be. More than a two next to Dortmund sooner rather than later. I'm just going to hover here. And from outside the box, very nearly score a worldy third. Could have maybe played a teammate in, but with the two-goal advantage we've got, wanted to try and get that outside-the-box goal to earn a new contract to Dortmund by scoring an outside-the-box goal against Bayern would be truly spectacular and probably the perfect way to do it. There you go, scoreline is back now. But it wasn't to be on that occasion. Is it to be now? No, I'll go for the pass and won't even get the pass either. And Fafana scores a third for Leverkusen. So they are now, as you can see, top right or could see top right. 3-0 up against Hoffenheim. So we are going to beat Bayern, but we're still not going to be top today. Unless Leverkusen drop points in the next round of fixes when we face Schalke and we're able to get a win and they drop points like we did in the last one against Freiburg. But we will be above Bayern come the end of play in this one today. Bove going for goal. Blocked well by Pavar. I'm here. I'm here. I'm still kind of here. Oh, good shot saved. Nearly a third in the 90th. We've won that back. 
We could still yet get a third in the 90th. Pavic. He's lost it. Not to worry. Ref. Yeah! Me in the 64th. Bova in the 35th. Booze from the home fans. Bayern drop from top to third in the space of one match day. Now then. January transfer window opens. We need to keep hold of our best players. And... Hopefully, sign some better ones too. All three objectives done. Turn the music up, boys. Bouncing around the away dressing room at the Allianz Arena. That's how you celebrate winning De Classica. Poor manager performance. Yeah, okay. Victory in the derby. Uh, I'll praise my teammates for that one. I can't really get too over the top because we're still not top yet. By Leverkusen have suddenly become very much part of this fight. Frankfurt still hang on. Only six points off top and five points behind ourselves and Bayern Munich. Now then, I'm going to try and keep a keen eye as we progress through the January transfer window on what happens with our squad. So we'll hopefully, if there's any signings, be able to bring them to you or notably any sales as well. But at the minute, nothing of any note right now just going to see if there's anything on a status that shows anyone potentially leaving but there isn't i've been here since 2028 been here longer than 2028 been here since oh no not longer than i arrived in 2030 something what are we, 2031? I arrived in 2030, not 2028, so that's wrong already, but not to worry. Three attackers, seven defenders, eight midfielders, two goalkeepers. Let's see what happens. Oh, I must have missed someone. New player arrived. Partner up with Fafana in training. We were having a look through the, short, through the um, squad hub, and I didn't even notice. Fafana, who are you? Fafana, Wesley Fafana, 86 rated centre-back Wesley Fafana, who we played with at Tottenham last year, joins us here at the club now. That is very much an improvement at centre-back. Lukeba will probably partner him at centre-back. And then, well, we're running out of centre-mids, really, aren't we? It'll be Fafana and Lukeba, so presumably Harwood Bellis will play at uh, CDM then, but if we could go and sign a CDM, that would be lovely. But one player in already on January the 1st. 3882. We've signed another defender. Who is it? Bremer. So we've signed two centre backs 87 rated Bremer and 86 rated Wesley Fofana join us. So if the manager will play 85 rated. Castello Lukeba at CDM. That is a significant improvement for the squad. That is absolutely a positive for us. Two strong. In fact, I think we've sold. No, Howard Bellis is still there. That's a strong, strong signing. Two strong, strong signings. You love to see it. Good. Right. I didn't get the player signing activity this time now we'll double check once more here 3882 still 3882 but what does the team look like Bremer, Lukeba, Harwood Bellis, Wesley Fofana at the moment doesn't get a look in but in back-to-back -back games Pavic starts on the right hopefully that's a change we see considerably more regularly moving forward right game day three today FC Schalke 0 fear at home and then our final game of the day complete four passes and a dribble success rate of 25% back at Zignaliduna Park to hopefully get a win against Schalke and maybe this time maybe this time we can go top of the Bundesliga Oh yeah, Schalke and Dortmund is a big derby, isn't it? I'd forgotten about that. The Riviera derby. Thank you for pointing it out, Mike. Cowell, to me. Spin well. Fine Bove. 
He's got nobody in support. There's a lot of blue shirts around him there. Cowell has me here, though. We'll go short there to Pavic. Pavic to me. Get the shot away early. It's a good save. It's a very good save by Contreras. Corner to come in. It's headed my way. I've not got to that. We've half... They've... Sorry, they've half cleared it. Maybe you're playing in yellow, not blue today, Chess. Harwood Bellis. I'm going to call for this in the middle here. Under control. Early shot. Oh, off the bar now. So very, 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 very nearly. 1-0 Borussia Dortmund. And Cowell and Rowe. Oh, trying to get away from one. I ran into a second. Out muscled by Matriciani. Illegally so, apparently. I'm not sure about that. I do wish my guy showed more strength. He really should show more strength. He's gone for goal. Christ. Contreras makes the save. That's ambitious. My guy's like 90 plus strength. And constantly folds as if he's made of papier mache. Castello Jr. Bove in there to me. Okay. There was two it could have gone to. Pavic. I'll call for it from Rowe. Dylan can't find me. And Martinez. Hasn't kept his run going. We're in a really good spot there. Win that back if you can, mate. <sighs> that is brave from Schalke. Two big derbies then in today's episode. Der Klassica and the Riviere derby as well. The big competitive derby. The big local derby. We've won one. Will we win the other? Moyano trying to find the ball back here and does. Curler finds Poku. Curler to Moyano again. And back to Schalenberg. Schalke on the attack. Templeman and Poku. Shot comes in but blocked. One back though. Templeman. Curler. Templeman again. Curler. Castello Junior does really well. And that's an important block. It's going to be nil-nil here at halftime. Unless we do something magical here. That was lucky. If it is to be magic, it's not magic by me. Bloody hell. This is just embarrassing from me today. I've been really poor. Other than the one goal moment against Bayern, I've been really poor. However, nope, still been really poor. However, nope, still been really poor. Nil nil. I just happened to have played a few passes and been right place, right time on occasion. If I could be right place, right time on the occasion, then that would be lovely. That occasion might be now. Oh. Oh. Still, we can't get the goal. Try desperately, we will. Fail, we might, to win another Bundesliga game. But. Oh, I'm just not acting on instinct. I tried to sprint and my guy just jogs next to it. And then I thought, well, bollocks, I might just take the shot then. But I wasn't away from the defender. I will not get a better chance. I, they've literally handed us possession. I'm one on one in the box. And my guy's waited so long to take the shot. No, I just can't seem to do anything today. Oh, chat, what is happening? Poku into Dicko. And top. Kubo with a save. It might fall free to a Schalke man. It has. Moyano lays it back. Poku runs straight into Arnel Martinez. Thank the Lord for that. Pavic, I'll call for the ball over the top. It's not an over top through ball though, was it, lad? But I'll find Pavic again. He'll find me again. Martinez, Pavic. Use Martinez, he's tried to find me. It's not the ball, it's not the one. Fredrickson, we're trying to put pressure on. We've won it back, but only enough so to give them a corner. Bove off, presumably for Connor James. So we have another 90 plus rated player on the pitch with us now. But will we find a winner against Schalke? If we are to, it will come late. Connor's won it back there. Roth will find me. I'll go... Jesus, nowhere, actually, is where I'll go. Absolutely nowhere. What a challenge. Push Stas to me. We'll find Pavic, who's found Cowell. Who finds me. Oh, Contreras is too good. 72 rated, my backside. He's playing like he's 92 in this game. Corner comes in, it's not going to reach me. Curler can only head as far as the edge of the box, though Dicko gets a better clearance on it. Puckstas will find me. I'm in the area. Oh, that is atrocious, Chez. That's going to be the game.
It's going to be the game. Man. Two nil-nil draws today. Although, I ab Freiburg, I was rubbish. Here, I wasn't great, but at least I had chances on this occasion. But I still couldn't put them away. And my guy, rather understandably and rather evidently, is pretty gutted about that. Only a 7.4 from me in the 92 minutes played. It's another nil-nil draw. And unfortunately, we certainly are not going to be... Oh, hang on, I entered that wrongly. We certainly are not going to be top of the Bundesliga anymore, are we? Or top, going top of the Bundesliga for the first time, actually. Not anymore. We've not been there in the first place yet. Oh, my lord. Oh, how in the... What the... F I'm not having very much luck entering stuff on the spreadsheet, let alone putting the ball in the back of the net. Leverkusen win as well. Not sure what Bayern did on that match day. I've been dropped to the bench. I don't know as I deserve being dropped to the bench, but certainly you can understand why the board or the manager might have wanted to play someone else around the hour mark and take me off. But Fortuna Dusseldorf will be where we start the next episode on the 25th. I can train and get myself back in the 11. I do just want to double check and make sure that we haven't a lost anyone or see if we've actually signed anyone you'll notice Dusseldorf have seven points so far this season Bayern now at the top of the table level on points with Leverkusen at 44 but have played a game more Dusseldorf very much bottom and out of it so far so that has to be a win for us surely in the squad hub we've lost a midfielder which midfielder is it Pavic is still here. Kraft is still here. James is still here. Rowe is still here. Cowell is still here. I'm not sure who it is. It was 3882. It's now 3872. I'm not sure who it is that we've lost, but it can't be anyone of any real note because everybody that should be at the club or was involved in the starting 11 is still here. So, is it, actually, is it Bove? It's Bove. We've sold Bove. We've lost our 85 rated central midfielder, Bove. He's been sold. He's gone. So, presumably, Puckstas will start then in central midfield in this next game. That is an oof indeed, chat. Wurtz starts. It's actually a blessing. Florian Wurtz will be our starting central midfielder. We've sold someone and we've gotten better. All right. I'm still happy. He's gone from a yikes and an oof to a actually brilliant. Join me for the next episode tomorrow. I'll see you then. Actually, will it be the next episode tomorrow? It'll be Monday. See you then.